let's use this opportunity of uh, this uh, script, this example, to see a little bit of the debugger, refer the debugger. So let's clear the screen to clear the previous uh, attempts to make this movie, this video. The, so the script is uh, this, uh, we have this bunch of numbers in a file, every row is a number, and there is the script that it tries to sum the numbers. If I g switch to this window and I run count sum, it will print out 126, that's uh, apparently the sum of these numbers. So how can we use the debugger? We can run Perl minus D and name of the script and then that is running the built-in debugger of Perl. Every time you, everywhere you have Perl, there is the built-in debugger. So you can run it and it will print out some basic information and will show you the first line to be executed. So this is the first line, it's not yet executed. If I make uh, a step now, then this is going to be the first thing to be executed. But before that, let's see the first and most important a command of the debugger, which is Q, that lets you quit the debugger. But of course, let's try it again. So the second most important is probably H, that will show you the help. So this is the short version of the help, you can get a longer version as well, but here you can just see various letters and characters and what do they do in the debugger. Now, it shouldn't frighten you, I mean it will, but it shouldn't, because uh, I'll show you the most basic things that you will really need to, to use in this debugger. Obviously people who come from an IDE world, they would prefer a GUI debugger and uh, we'll see that as well later on, but this is very important to learn because this is, ev this is there everywhere, so no, ma no matter which Perl installation, if it's a remote machine, you will have the built-in debugger. So anyhow, you have, uh, you remember we saw the first line to be executed, now we have sort of lost it, but if I press dot, enter, then it will show me again what's the next line to be executed. So the next line is, is this one. Now you might want to look around what's in this uh, code, so let's list from 1 to 20 the lines, and then it will print out the content of the script so you know where what's around you. So this is the first line to be executed. And the way to execute it is to press S and enter. That's step in, it's called step in. So you will execute the first first statement here. And then the next statement is dis displayed. So this is going to be the next statement. If I print out the content of dollar file name, now it's gonna be empty or rather undef. So I can Type here, type here the letter P and then file name. P is the uh, tool in the debugger to print out something and it doesn't print you anything because it's empty. But if, we, if I check it with the defined, then it's gonna be false, so it won't, pre uh, won't print anything. And if I ask if it's not defined, then I'll get true because now I'm negating it and then that's true. So anyway, the file name is currently undef. Uh, as opposed to, by the way, if you check the sum, if, if I uh, check the sum, if it's defined, so sum is defined. If I print it out, you will see it's zero because it was already assigned. So just let's get, uh, go back is the up arrow you can uh, see the previous commands and then list again just to remember the first one assignment of this sum and then assignment of the to the file name which hasn't happened yet so to execute it i press s and then it executed the assignment the next operation is going to be the open again i can try print out the file name and you can see that it contains the name of the file to be Great. So now I can step again and this opened the file. This called the open. I can check what's in the FH actually. So let's see dollar $FH. This is what a file handler. So this is a file handler looks like this. If you print out in the in the debugger. And then here is the line, here's the, the piece of code. This is the line about while that I'm reading line by line. So the first thing is 
I read one line, so what's in this line? Sorry, I have to print it. I, okay, so I can either t uh, uh, press P and print, or or I can even write in out the uh, name of the Perl function, and you can type in any Perl function here. So I printed out the content of line, and um, that's three. Now let's just switch for a second back to the screen. To the screen, you see this is three. This is the content of the file, the first line, and if you print out the sum, it's still zero because we haven't executed the assignment. This is the assignment now. So the next step is executing the assignment. Now you can see that the sum is already three, and uh, and because we are um, we don't see here uh, the debuggers uh, stopping every time at this assignment, so it will stop. Um, and executed this assignment now again. So the dollar line is already containing the next line. So the dollar line already contains the next line. If I switch again here, you can see dollar line already contains. And um, I can now go on step by step, or I can say le let's list again the whole script. Uh, I can go to line 13 so I go to continue to line 13 and it will run till this point and stop just before executing line 13 in the code so it went over all the loop now I can print out myself what's in sum and that's the total but if I print press S and enter then the code itself is printing the result this is the, the, ex the, the last line is executed and then you see that the program is terminated because we have finished uh, debugging it. Now you can press Q and exit. So you see this is the basic operation of the debugger. And we s you saw how we went over step by step this uh, example.